Hello and welcome to 2 graphic for you Tutorial 6. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you where you can get a free video intro outro for your videos and free background music. Um, also, just to let you know, and I'm going to show you right now, you can now get free background music on YouTube in just about every genre. I personally haven't tried it yet, so I have no idea if the music can be edited like in Windows Live Movie Maker, but I'll check it out and let you know in a future video. So let's go over here to Creation Tools and see you get a selection of different types of music. There are the featured ones, a particular genre you want to look for, the mood, instrument, duration, and then whatever your favorites, they'll be right here. So, like I said, I have no idea if the music can be edited like in Windows Live Movie Maker, but I'll check it out and let you know in a future video. Another thing I should mention now is that this video may be longer than the rest because I have quite a few steps and samples to show you. But first, let's go to movietools.info. You'll need to sign up for a free account, so let's go ahead and do that now. Scroll down here where it says create an account. Once you've set up your account and chosen your background, make certain you know which file your download is located in, your videos folder, pictures, or download folder. So, um, I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to sign up for an account because I have more than enough material that I need. Uh, but you may want to pause the video at this point and return once you have your download. Now, you may notice here on the Movie Tools website that lower thirds are also available. And you might be wondering what that is. I'll cover that in another video, but just so you know, lower thirds cannot be used in Windows Live Movie Maker. You can't edit with the lower thirds over a video unless you use another video editing program like one of those like uh, one of the Sony Vegas Movie Studios. I'll give you an example and show you what I mean um, after you download an animated background. But all you see here, these are the types of animated backgrounds that you can get. Now, if you should come across a website where you can get free After Effects templates, you will not be able to use any of those templates unless you have Adobe After Effects installed on your computer. Even if you just sign up for the free trial, you will still be able to use some of the files after your trial expires. You just won't be able to edit any of them. Let's see, these are the types of files that you can get here on Movie Tools. Now notice to the uh, right of this video, it says, please read our license information before downloading content from the website. If you download a loop, please vote and write a comment for that animation. Um, you'll need to do that. Now, once you've located the video background that you just downloaded, let's open up Windows Live Movie Maker and make our intro. And I've already got Windows Live Movie Maker opened up, and I'm going to down I'm going to put in uh, one of the animations that I've downloaded, which is my usual one. 
and now I'm going to make my intro. So, I'll click on captions, position it where I want it, type in my title, change the font, change the font size, and change the color. Then I'll go over into Effects and choose Zoom and change the text duration. Then I'll take my timeline, drag it right, right here, go back to the Home tab, click Captions again, still not quite right, click Captions again, edit my text. Now this is just the sample. Change the font type. And the font size. Probably change the color to something like purple. I don't know if that'll work. And change the text duration. Then I'll drag the timeline over here. Captions. Change the font size, change change the font style, 592, I'll change it to 4, and I'll do it like this, and here's my intro. Actually, I kind of made a little mistake. I wanted... Well, no, that's right. That, that can go like that. Now I'm going to take... This, right, take the timeline, drag it over here, go to Video Tools, Edit, Set Endpoint. Go back to the Home tab, Add Photos and Video. And I'll add a few clips to make my video. And I will add a transition. No, I don't want to add that. Uh, animations. I have to keep on working with something that works. I'll use that. This I'll have to shorten a little bit again, and I'll shorten that to three seconds. Play that. Just until I get it right. Hey, that's pretty neat. Now, going to go down here to the end, and I'm going to add the outro, and I'll make the outro match my intro. And I'll add what I usually add to it, my visual effects. And then go back to Home tab, add my uh, ending captions. I'm 
Whoops. Now you can write whatever it is that you want to write in your outro. This is for um, just sample purposes. thing keeps popping up. And share. And that can be the... Now we can choose that to scroll up. So when you play, it's l it it works like a credit would, and so it goes a little slower. You can increase the time, the text duration, and there you have your outro. But we're not finished yet. We have to add music. So, let's head over to freebackgroundmusic.com, exactly the way you see it right here, free-background-music.com. You also have to sign up for a free account here as well. Now this is not the only site where you can get free background music. If you do a Google search for free background music, you'll find a number of links. I'm not going to be signing up for a free account here either because I have more background music than I need, plus I produce my own with another program. So you may want to pause the video here when you've signed up and have your download. Don't forget to recall which file your download is in. Now, let's get back to Windows Live Movie Maker and add the music you just downloaded. And do some editing. And I'm not sure what I'm going to have for background music, but I'll pick anything. And I will set the music to end there. Set endpoint. Fade in slow. Fade out medium. And then go ahead and click play. Then, say you do your narration over the video. Then you can have your intro music the same as your outro music. Wait, better go back here since I'm already down here. Add music at the current point. And choose the same kind of music. Fade out medium, fade in slow, and there's the outro. Mm -hmm. 
end. That's the outro. Now, wasn't that fun? And best of all, it was free. Now I'll show you why you can't use lower thirds in Windows Live Movie Maker and how you can use some After Effects in your videos. What I'm about to show you, um, this is what I mean when I say you can get creative. So I'm going to go ahead and start a new project. Don't want to save that. I'm going to add, click on all files so that I can get my lower thirds out of here. Now watch this. Windows Life Movie Maker does not recognize uh, lower thirds. It says double click to fix, but it removes it. See, it recognizes the file as corrupt or in a format that Movie Maker doesn't recognize. And um, it says here that this movie can't be saved or published until it's removed from the project. Now, if you publish it in another video editing program, then you can use it in Windows Live Movie Maker. But Windows Live Movie Maker does not recognize that format. So I'm going to delete that. But now I will show you something. If, if you've downloaded the trial for Adobe After Effects, you can start downloading After Effects templates. I have a link in the description below the video where you can sign up for a free 7-day trial. Or you can find the link on my website, but I'll show you how you can use some of the files in Windows Live Movie Maker. So let's go back here to Photos and Videos. And I have some After Effects that I used. Uh, here's one. This is a file that I downloaded. You'll most likely go into AE Project Files. And you see where that says Footage. That's where you can get much of your material. Pre-rendered videos. And there's one. That's a video that you can use in Windows Live Movie Maker. Go ahead and click Play, and that's what you get. You have to be creative. So let's do another one just so I can show you. And there's another one that I use here quite often. I'm not certain which one it is now. Project Files, Footage, Precomps, Flares. And this is the one that I use. See, some of these files have pre-rendered videos that you can use. As long as videos are pre-rendered, you can use them in Windows Live Movie Maker. So I don't think that tutorial was too long, but I hope you got the basics of that. And uh, where I showed you where you can get the music, where I showed you where you can get free videos, uh, those are not the only websites. Do a Google, a Google search, and uh, I'm sure you'll find multiple links where you can where you can download. But make sure that the quality is at least a video quality or HD quality. Anyway, that's it for today's tutorial, and I'll see you in the next video, and uh, have fun.